Hello everyone, today I'm going to show you what's inside my Peak Design Everyday Sling 3 liters. This is my only camera bag at the moment and I love it because it forces me to consider what gear I'll bring with me when I go out. Peak Design does however offer 6 and 10 liter sizes if you want to carry more gear. I used to have the 10 liter size but I didn't like it because it was too uncomfortable on my shoulder. Anyhow, let me show you what's inside my Sling 3 liter. Starting with the main compartment. I have the Sony a7 IV and the Sony 20mm f1.8 and this has been my main YouTube setup for the last year or so. It's fantastic, it has great video quality, 4K60, flippy screen, a great battery life and the 20mm f1.8 is pretty much the best Sony lens in my opinion for YouTube videos. It's wide enough for vlogging and for this kind of shots. I'm actually using now the Viltrox 13mm f1.4 on my Sony ZV-E10 which has pretty much the same field of view as the 20 millimeters and I think this field of view is great for YouTube because you can get really close to the camera and it's great for vlogging and also it has enough background separation and not a lot of distortion in the corners like with something like 16 millimeters or 18 millimeters. I don't really use this lens for photography but for YouTube videos it's pretty much the best in my opinion for Sony cameras. A new addition to the kit is the Sony 35 millimeters f1.8 and I bought this lens for a couple of reasons. The first one is for my b-roll shots. I used to shoot in crop mode with the 20 millimeters to get some close-up shots, close-up b-roll shots, but now I'm going to use the 35 millimeter for these uh, b-roll shots and also I'm going to use this lens for my thumbnails and street photography when I do photography because 35 millimeters is pretty much classic for street photography. This lens is very light, compact, has great quality and great optics as well and so far I love it but Obviously, time will tell. That's pretty much it when it comes to the main compartment. And let me show you all the small stuff that I have in here. So I have an extra battery for my Sony a7 IV. I also have this thing, which is the Peak Design cuff. Basically, what you do with this thing is put it on your wrist and then you can connect it to your camera. And now if the camera will drop down, it will basically save your camera from falling to the ground. And I love it because you never know, you know, sometimes you can bump into someone and your camera might drop and completely break and this basically uh, prevents that. Alright, next thing is some cleaning stuff. I have these Zeiss tissues to clean my lenses and stuff and cleaning cloth. I also have my AirPods to listen to audiobooks and music and also have a pen. Then on this compartment I have a USB-C cable in case if I need to charge my camera or some other accessories like GoPro for example. And also I have a power bank from Nightcore. This is the 10K version and it's very light. It's only like 150 grams. Super compact as you can see. Carbon fiber has a USB-C, USB-A and it has enough juice to power on my camera, charge my smartphone or charge my GoPro or something like that. And finally, I have this uh, notebook to write notes and stuff. Yeah, and also sometimes I carry my tripod. This is the Sirui. I forgot the model number, but I'm going to leave links to everything down below. So yeah, sometimes I carry this tripod with me. I put it here with the Peak Design straps and it works flawlessly pretty much. Now for the most part, I only carry one camera and one lens because when I go out, I don't like changing lenses, I like having one lens and one camera and I like using also prime lens because it keeps things simple. So I usually carry my 20 millimeter with me to do photography or video outside. But now if I'm going to do video, I'm going to use the 20 millimeter. And if I'm going to do street photography or photography in general, I'm going to take the 35 millimeter with me because I think it's a better lens for photography. So I'm just going to take that and this basically leaves this portion of the bag completely open, right? And I can put some other stuff like my phone or an action camera that I sometimes take with me, like the DJI Osmo Action or even the GoPro 10 or both of them. And then all the other accessories will also go inside. So usually I carry just one camera, one lens, my phone and all the small accessories to keep things 
as simple as possible. All right, so this is pretty much it. As you can see, I have a very minimal and simple kit, not a lot of stuff, and that's on purpose because I like to keep things simple so I won't get confused with my gear. So yeah, if you have any questions or comments, let me know down below. I hope you enjoyed this video and found it informative. And I guess I will see you in the next one. Bye.